Open your book to page 238. This is lesson 8.5b. This lesson is on adding and subtracting polynomials. So when you're adding or subtracting polynomials, first you need to remove the grouping symbols and then combine the like terms. So let's go to example 8, A. You have a uh, 3x squared plus 5x minus 4 plus 2x plus 5 plus x cubed minus 4x squared plus x. So first thing you do is go and get rid of the parentheses. And the way you do that is by multiply by what is in front. Now, when there's no number, it means it's 1. So 1 times anything would be the same, right? It would stay the same. Okay, so again, 1 times anything would be the same. So this one would be the same. Now, over here, again, there's no number. That means it's 1. So 1 times anything would be the same, right? So this is still the same. Same thing over here. There's, there's no number means it's 1. So 1 times this whole thing would make this the same. Okay, so right now, that means you can just drop the parentheses when there's only one in front. And after that, you can go and combine the like terms. And normally, you start with the highest degree, the highest exponent. So here's the, so start with the cube. So go through, look for all the cubes. So that's the only one. So that's x cubed. And you, again, you want to use different shapes or different colors or different symbols to combine the like terms, to identify the like terms. So I'm using different shapes. So I use the oval. And then I'm going to use the rectangle. So, I'm, so you start with a cube, then you go to a square. So here's another square right over here. So when you're, when you're doing the problem, make sure you give yourself enough room. Spray things out a little bit so you have enough room to, to work. So you got 3 and minus 4. So the signs are different, so you have to subtract the number. So 4 minus 3 will give you 1, and it's going to be negative 1, right? But you don't write negative 1 as your coefficient, so it will be just negative x squared. Okay, so now, so you start with the 3 power, 2 power, then you go to the 1 power. So I'm going to use the parallelogram. So you, there's one here, that's one here, and that's one here. Okay, so 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, so it'll be plus 8x. And then the leftover, the last one, you don't have to, you know, use the shapes. So you can just see the leftover. So negative 4 and 5 will give you plus 1. So you can opposite sign, you subtract the numbers. So 5 minus 4 will give you 1. Okay, okay let's go to B. So when you look at the B, I notice there's no number in front and all my addition. So instead of copying the problem, wasting time, I'm just going to drop the parentheses already. So 8B, you're going to have 5x cubed y squared minus 3x squared y squared plus 4 xy cubed plus 4x squared y squared minus 2xy squared and running out of space I'm going to continue down here so minus 7x cubed y squared plus 6xy squared minus 3xy cubed okay so you can first you get rid of all the grouping symbols get rid of the parentheses okay now after you do that, what you want to do is start to collect the like terms, right? So I'm going to start with this one, x cubed y squared. So go down x cubed y squared, look for the x cubed y squared. So here's another one right over here, right? So look for like terms. Again, like terms means that the, the variable part are identical, right? Both of these are x cubed y squared, right? So 5 minus 7, so again, they're opposite signs. So you have to subtract the numbers. So 7 minus 5 will give you 2, right? And it's negative. The bigger number is negative. So it would be minus 2x cubed y squared. So that takes care of the x cubed y squared. Then that, let's go to the next one. This one over here, I'm going to use the rectangle. So it's x squared y squared. So look for the x squared y squared. Okay, right over here. x squared y squared, x squared y squared. So only this 2. Okay. So negative 3 plus 4 will give you plus 1. Again, don't write 1. Okay, You don't write 1 as your coefficient. So that takes care of that. Now next one, I'm going to look for the xy cube. Okay? So xy cube and xy cube right over here. So you got 4 minus 3 will give you positive 1. So it would be plus 1xy cube. Then a leftover, again the last one, the leftover, you don't have to use any shapes because that's, you can just see it already. So negative 2 and 6 will give you plus 4xy squared. Okay? And that's your answer for 8b. 
Okay, now let's go to example 9. Now example 9, you're adding the three parentheses and they want you to do it in a vertical method. So you got 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus 2x plus 5 plus 4x cubed plus 7x squared minus 6. So when you're doing a vertical method, you have to none up all the like terms and you have to do it in order. So like this is 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Okay? And this would be 2x plus 5. Now this one has cube, so you have to put it out here. So you got 4x cubed plus 7x squared minus 6. Notice there's no x term. Okay? So there's no x term, so you have to skip a space. So again, first you need to write down all these and every column has to be you know, the like terms. And so now you can go and add this together. So again, so negative one plus five will give you four. Four minus six will give you negative two. Okay, and this will give you plus four x. And this will give you plus ten x squared. And uh, plus ten x squared. And this will be four x cubed. Okay, so this is a vertical method. Now, advantage and dis there's a disadvantage, advantage and disadvantage for each method. Vertical method is that you have to take time to line things up, okay? And, but the advantage is nice and neat, okay? But you have to take time to line up every column. The horizontal method is you don't have to line it up. You can, whatever order, you can just do it and, but the, the disadvantage is chaotic. But when you get to subtraction, this is when the horizontal method is really useful. Okay? So horizontal method is, is better to use when you're doing the horizontal, uh, when you're doing the subtraction. So horizontal method is better for subtraction because you can change the sign and you can just go and combine the like terms. Okay. So let's go to example 10, the subtractions. So example 10a, the subtraction, okay, so you have negative 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus, so you have to pay careful uh, attention to subtractions. You have to remember to change signs on every term on the inside. Okay, so again, first you need to do is get rid of the parentheses, so there's no number means it's 1, so 1 times anything would be the same, so it would be minus 4x cube plus 8x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now this one, that's no number, but it's a subtraction. So it's a, it's a minus. So you have to, when you multiply, okay, just, you're going to get negative 4x cubed. Multiply, you have to distribute every term, right? So again, use your finger. It helps you uh, to you know, think carefully and not to make careless mistakes. So this multiply will give you plus 7x squared. Okay, this one will give you minus 6x. This will give you minus 5. Okay, so again, watch the signs. Okay, everything got changed. So now, you go and co uh, combine the like terms to do the cube, right? So minus 4 minus 4 will give you minus 8x cubed. Okay. Again, because they are same sign, you add the numbers together, right? Okay, now let's go and do the, the square. So this and this square. So 8 and 7 give you plus 15 x squared, and let's go and again go down in order. So minus 2 and minus 6 will give you minus 8x, minus 3 and minus 5 will give you minus 8. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's go to B. So 10B, now this one, you have to understand the wording. It says subtract the first parentheses from the second parentheses. So I'm going to write it out so you can follow what I'm doing. So subtract the first parentheses from the second parentheses. So when it says subtract the first one from the second parentheses, what this saying is that you have the second parentheses minus So what it's saying is the second parentheses minus the first Parentheses. That's what it's saying. Again, you subtract this from that. So make sure you understand the meaning of this. So make sure you translate correctly. Okay. 
Okay, so go ahead and write the second parentheses first. So you get 11x squared y minus 8xy squared plus 7xy plus 2 minus the first parentheses is negative 4x squared y plus 10xy squared plus 9xy minus 7. Okay, so now let's get rid of the, uh, get rid of the grouping symbol. Okay. So this one, nothing's going to change, right? So it stay the same. So you're going to get 11x squared y minus 8xy squared plus 7xy plus 2. Now I'm kind of running out of space. That's why I'm shifting a little bit. Normally you keep, line, keep things lined up. Don't shift. But I'm kind of running out of space. So that's why I'm shifting a little bit. So multiply the negative and negative give you positive. Okay, multiply. This will give you a minus. Okay, multiply this will give you a minus. Multiply this will become plus 7, right? So you can get rid of the grouping symbols by multiply out. Pay close attention to subtraction. Make sure you change all the signs. Now you can go and combine the like terms. So I'm looking for x squared y. So go down, look for x squared y. Okay, so 11 and 4 will give me 15. Okay, so you can put, it, put an equal sign over there. So you can go down. Next one, I'm looking for xy squared. So xy squared, one over here. Okay, anymore, that's it. So minus 8, minus 10, give me minus 18. Okay, okay so I'm, go to the next one. Again, I'm using different shapes. So I'm looking for xy, looking for xy. So 7 and minus 9, they're opposite signs, so you have to subtract the number, so I will have a 2, and it's going to be negative. And this, this one of you will give me plus 9. Okay, let's, let's go to uh, 10C. Again, you... You don't have to write this part down, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to write it out so you can follow what I'm doing. So this is, so this one says subtract, subtract the first parentheses from the sum of the second parentheses and the third parentheses. Okay, so subtract this from these. So that means you have to do this first. So what it's saying is the meaning of this is that that you have the second parentheses plus the third parentheses by sum of these. Then you subtract the first from that. Okay, so that's what this means. Okay, so you can subtract the first, right? Subtract the first, subtract the first from the sum of that. So that's what you need to do. Okay, so let's go and write these things out. So, so the second parentheses is a x squared minus six x minus one, and the the third parentheses is four x squared plus seven x minus nine. So you're gonna add this together. Then you're going to subtract the first. Okay, now nice thing about horizontal method is that you can, okay, so first you can just get rid of all these. So since there's no subtraction, you can just drop all these. So this becomes uh, 8x squared minus 6x minus 1, okay, plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 9, right? Because all these, all these are additions, so you can just get rid of all that. Now this one we have to be very careful, right? So this one become minus 2x squared, this become plus 5x, this become minus 3. Okay? So get, get rid of all the grouping symbols and you have to watch the order and then after that go and look for the like terms. So this one here, this one here, you can look for the squares. So 8 plus 4 is 12, minus 2 it become 10, so it be 10x squared. 
And after that, you go to the single power, so minus 6x plus 7x plus the 5x. So minus 6 plus 7 will give you, uh, give you plus 1, plus 5 will give you plus 6x. Then the left over, minus 1 minus 9 give you minus 10, minus 3 will give you minus 13. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so again, nice thing about horizontal method is it can just go all over the place. You don't want to line things up, especially with three parentheses. Uh, when you're doing the vertical method, it's actually it's, it's harder. Okay, now let's go to example 10D. So 10D has more grouping symbols. So you have x squared plus 5 minus bracket parentheses x squared minus 3 plus uh, parentheses 2x squared minus 1. Okay. Now remember your order of, of, of operation, right? First, you have to do the parentheses, then you do the brackets, right? And then, then you do the braces, and then you do the, the, uh, the bars, right? And then after that, so these are the grouping, right? So you have to undo all these first. So let's do the, undo the, the uh, parentheses. So you're gonna get x squared plus five minus, again, we're doing print, uh, parentheses only, right? So over here, you're gonna get x squared minus three plus 2x squared minus 1, okay? Then after that, next, I'm gonna get rid of the bracket. Now, there's a minus over here, so you have to be careful, right? So you're gonna get x squared plus five. Again, follow through with your equal. So again, use your fingers, so minus x squared. This will become plus three, minus 2x squared, plus one. My next step will be combine the like terms. So this one and this one actually cancel out. So get all the x squares. So these two cancel out, so you're gonna get negative two x squared. And next one, look for the x, there's no x. So now you can just do the numbers. So five plus three is eight plus one is nine. Okay, okay let's go to example 11, subtraction vertical method. So on page 239, example 11, so it says subtract, so it tells you 5x squared plus 3x minus 6, and then you got 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. So you're doing a subtraction, so you have to remember to, uh, to, remember to subtract every single column. Okay. So, so this minus that, so negative 6 minus 2 will give you minus 8. 3 minus negative 5 will give you positive 8. And 5 minus 3 will give you, will give you a 2x squared. So this is what we're doing. Now, if you have a hard time with subtraction, then this is what you want to do. You want to convert everything into, uh, into positive, you know, the additions. So change sign. So this is subtraction, right? So instead of doing the subtraction, this is what you want to do. So when you're doing the subtraction, what do you change all the signs and make into additions? Okay, so one thing you can do is change all the signs, so become minus x, 3x squared plus 5x minus two, and, and use addition instead. So instead of subtraction, you change all the signs and make into addition. So this is probably better uh, because it, it helps you to avoid mistakes and easier to add, right? And when you add, same sign, so you add the numbers together, you follow that, right? Same sign, you add the numbers together, follow that, right? Opposite sign, you subtract the numbers, would be two, and follow that. Okay, so this is probably a little bit easier to buy, convert into addition, so change all the signs and, and, and become addition, and then it's easier to add than subtract. Okay, so let's go to example 12. Okay, so this one is subtract the, the first from the second, right? So you have to write the second parentheses first. So you're gonna have x cubed. Again, remember you have to put in order, right? So x cubed, x squared, there's no x squared, so you have to skip a space, right? So you're gonna subtract the first parentheses from this, right? And so this would be subtracting, so it'd be three x squared minus two x 
minus 7, right? And this is for subtraction, right? Okay, but I don't like to do the subtraction, so I'm going to change to addition, and I'm going to change all the sign. So change everything opposite, okay? Make everything opposite. So now it becomes addition. It's much easier to add than subtract. Okay, so now there are opposite signs, so I have to subtract the number, so I get, I get 2 and follow the sign of that. This one, they cancel out. They have nothing over here, so it cancels out. Nothing, so you don't write anything, right? Now this one, 0 uh, minus 3 will give you minus 3x squared, right? And this one, x cubed minus nothing will give you x cubed. And so that's it. So you can, it's easier if, if you change into addition by changing all the signs. It, it helps you to avoid mistakes.